Hi guys, it's Tandy here from Avalanche Safety Solutions. Today we're going to show you how to refill the BCA 2.0 cylinders. So I realized that 99% of you are not gonna have the setup at home to do this, um, but I'm a nerd and I like to know how things are done. And I think you guys do too. So we're gonna do it. Okay, so the first step to refilling the cylinders is, first of all, make sure your cylinder is empty. With the BCA cylinders, there are two different ways to find this out. The first one is pretty obvious, it's the gauge. Just check and make sure that your gauge is all the way down to the zero. Another thing is when the BCA cylinders are blown off, this little pin up top will come up. So when you first buy your cylinder, with the cylinder you will get a refill kit. You will be needing to use 98% of the stuff in here to refill the cylinder. So the first thing you're gonna use out of this kit will be the little Allen key that is provided. So let's open this up. So I know you're asking, hey Tanya, what size is this Allen key that you're using? My answer to you is, I do not know. <laughs> so we're gonna start by taking off these two screws at the top. Sometimes they're a little sticky. Don't worry about it. It happens. So once the bolts are loosened a little bit, you can start hand winding them and take them out completely. Put them aside where you're not gonna lose them. So now you're just gonna pull on this trigger piece so that it no longer is attached to the firing pin. Be very gentle when you're pulling on this piece. If this firing pin bends, it won't be able to go back in. So now we'll pull out the firing pin. You'll see at the bottom of the firing pin, there is the smallest little O-ring on there. This O-ring needs to be changed every time you blow off your cylinder. Um, the reason being it may look like there's nothing wrong with it, but it does get little hairline cracks in it when you fire it off and it won't make a proper seal. So now we're going to use this little toothpick that comes in your kit. If you have a hard time with this procedure, don't worry about it. Everybody does. Um, even I do. I find it's even worse when I don't have fingernails. So the easiest way to do it is to pinch the O-ring with your fingers and then you can get that little toothpick underneath it. Once you're underneath it, then you can just pry it off. There we go. Now that's with years and years of experience doing this and doing multiples of them a day. If it takes longer to get it off, you're normal. There's nothing wrong with you. Your refill kit provides you with five very tiny O-rings and two larger ones. The two larger ones that you're getting in your kit, you most likely will never use unless you are traveling, say, over the border where you have to take the top off your cylinder. And even then, if you take the top off the cylinder, it doesn't usually wreck this O-ring. So keep them somewhere where you won't lose them, but odds are you're not gonna use them. So the little O-ring that's in your package is the one that we are going to be putting on the end of the firing pin. Again, this is going to be a frustrating point to some of you, but uh, 
just keep at it. Don't stretch the O-ring when you're trying to put it on. I find the easiest way is this way. So the way that I'll tend to do it is just stick it on top of my finger here. Grab your firing pin and just squeeze it on. There you go. You'll also find a little dab of grease in your cylinder refill kit. This is the part where we are going to use it. Before you put your firing pin back in, we like to just grease up the bottom O-ring and the middle O-rings a little bit before we put it back in. So just get a little bit of it on your finger. If it's gloppy on there, that's okay. And then just put it back in the top. Push until you can't push anymore. To reinstall the top, all you need to do is pull the trigger out and put it back on. And then insert your two bolts tighten them with your little allen key that was given to you just go hard enough so to make it snug in there So most of you, like I said, don't have the tanks to refill the cylinders at home, but if you could do the steps and change the O-ring for the person that's refilling your cylinder for you, it makes them like you 100% more. So we're gonna start with the lower um, PSI tanks. So now I'm gonna to top it off to its proper PSI. So the BCA cylinders are supposed to be 2700 PSI at room temperature. We're gonna let this one cool down a little bit after checking it in water for leaks. And once it's cooled, we will top it off to what it's supposed to be. With the cylinder underwater, no air bubbles means it's not leaking. So once the cylinder has cooled down and reached room temperature, we can top it off and make sure it's at the 2700 PSI that it needs to be at. And that's it. That's all there is to refilling your BCA 2.0 cylinder. It's ready to be reattached to your bag and ready for another fun day.